Number one, I heard Mr. Gachagua saying that Bruto to close his ears to the Kenyans. It is very unfortunate for a person who called himself a deputy president of the country of Kenya to tell the people of Kenya that they are not ready to listen to them. It is very unfortunate. And my advice to Mr. Ruto, it is that the same Kenyans that right now you are trying to close your ears to them, it is the same Kenyans who open their ears during the election to listen to you. Number two, about housing levy. It is very unfortunate that Mr. President and his deputy, they were not ready to listen to the opinion and the views of the Kenyans, who they claim that elected them. It is very unfortunate. And it is now high time wa Kenya kusimama na musimamo moja. Mana Mr. Ruto is not ready to relent or to review PO financial bill. Anataka ipitishu agency ilivyo whether tutaumia ama hatutaumia. And we are ready to say no to you Mr. President and have that in mind. Number three is all about Hasla Fund. Ulitomea kwamba wa Kenya milioni ishirini na mbili wameweza kuchukua Hasla Fund. Yes, it might be true or not. But what you fail to tell us is how many Hustlers has managed to refund the fund. Kwa sababu ya ugumu wa maisha, ninamini hata kama walichukua ni wajache sana wamewezesho kurudisha hiyo fan. So hata hiyo, unapo endelea, angalia hayo. Number four, it's all about ulisema conversation must change. It is true conversation has changed. Ukaseme ya kwamba, it is not all about creating position for the leaders. In your government, Mr. President, is there Mamamboga that you have given portfolio katika sherekali yako? Is there mutu wa boda boda? Is there mutu wa chini wa wheelbarrow? So, it is you yourself ambayo ulisema ya kwamba huta create position kwa marafiki, you are the same person ambayo ame create position kwa marafiki zako. Hasujawana mutio yote kutoka inje mpi ambayo hakuwa. Nikiguza mamba ya corruption. Ni kwamba you are the greatest corrupt person in this country. We have seen in your government ma CIS, ma PS, ma CS. These people, they were mad with corruption and the killers. But after taking the office, their case were withdrawn. And now they are clean as white as wool. Now, I want you to listen to this Mr. President. Wewe umejulikana katika tongue twisting. You, you keep on promising, promising, promising. Until now, nothing you have done. A span of almost 10 months, tangu uchaguliwe, hakuna chochote umepanya ni ahadi baada ya nyingine. From now, hatutaki ma promises tunataka vitendo tumechoka na promises zako na wa Kenya wamechoka every time ukisimama is all about promises nikimalizia ni kwamba sahi 
tunajua ya kwamba wa Kenya wame participate in public participation lakini ukweli ni kwamba you are not ready to listen to us so from now on do you expect us to be ready to listen to your promises in which hakuna mahali popote inatupeleka nataka utuambie leo hii katika the previous days ambao tuliona gazeti imesema ya kwamba umetembea katika inchi 29 tangu uchaguliwe kama rais mwaka haujaisha kuna kitu moja ambaye unaweza ukatuambia ya kwamba hii nimeleta kutoka nchi hii nimeleta kutoka nchi hii na wakenya wajivunie kutembea kwako katika hayo mainchi ama wewe ndio unaenda tua na bibi yako na mara iki zako and misappropriate the kenyan tax tumechoka if you are not ready to change we will change you asanteni